So, yeah, I'm going to be honest with all of you. I'm pretty darn frustrated about this. I think we should have wrapped it up tonight, the Coliseum, and been heading into the story, and maybe one more stream on Tuesday night, and we would have been done. Instead, now I have to find a way to squeeze this further into my schedule when I'm ready to move on to other playthroughs because they... Man, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Back in the saddle once again, riding into town as the commentary cowboys, the Knights of Armageddon, if you will. That makes absolutely no sense, ladies and gentlemen. But today we got DSP. He's complaining about video games being too darn hard and throwing an absolute monkey wrench into his fluctuating schedule of a stream he likes to call a community. This, uh, he treats it like a 9 to 5 And I think part of the fun of being a streamer Is not treating it like a 9 to 5 But more like a business um, That needs constant attention Not a 9 to 5 um, Your business Meaning everything that you do as a person Not just the YouTube channel that you think is the 9 to 5 Anyways that's a whole other video I can make on DSP This motherfucker is out here complaining like, The Dragon Gaiden game Is super duper hard I went and go and got leveled up and then they came back. Dude, I'm like five deep right now. I want to be real. He went and got leveled up. Came back to the dungeon. There's three hours of game playing like a Dragon Gaiden game thing. The, the, the Yakuza. I don't, you know, if you watch the streams, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, he's complaining three hours left of gameplay. Not going to be able to finish because it's endless. Because he went back. He grinded. Did all the side quests that he did not have to do. To level up his character to come back to this dungeon just to find out that the dungeon had leveled up with him It's called player scaling a lot of video games do this They set difficulties for certain bosses so you can't one-shot them unless it's like Dark Souls Well, they will always one-shot you. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look at this clip y'all as they get higher level and they don't attack as much meaning you have to do all the work yourself or the game actually scales health and damage output and difficulty based on how you know your character's levels, which is bullshit. It should never do that. The whole point of a Coliseum challenge like this is that you're supposed to be able to grind your way to victory. That's the point of it. Not, oh, grind your way to victory, but it's still hard, just as hard, if not harder than before, because we lay raised everyone else's level around you. Like, imagine if you're in an RPG and you're in the final dungeon and the enemies seem too strong. So you leave the dungeon, you grind for five hours, you come back, all the enemies have leveled up just as much as you did. So they're still too hard to beat. You can't beat the game. Why would it do that? I don't know. So we're at the end of the night and I'm frustrated and this sucks because I'm looking for a late night chill stream and I'm like pissed at the end of the stream. I'm like, why did they do this? We're at the end. This is the end. There's nothing else to do besides this final fight and the final four Kings fights. I need to be able to win these to do the final mission and then we can beat the game, do the story, finish the game. So for as, as well as I did with Robocop today and finished it early, <clears throat> now this Like a Dragon Gaiden playthrough is extended and not ending and going on endlessly. From what my wife told me, there's around three hours left of story in the game. So I can't even beat this game on a night stream, even if I wanted to. We're not able to. Okay? So, yeah, I'm going to be honest with all of you. I'm pretty darn frustrated about this. I think we should have wrapped it up tonight, the Coliseum, and been heading into the story, and maybe one more stream on Tuesday night, and we would have been done. Instead, now I have to find a way to squeeze this further into my schedule when I'm ready to move on to other playthroughs because they fucked up the Coliseum. I mean, that's pretty bad. The thing is, the rest of the game has been great. I didn't even have a complaint until tonight. I thought the game was outstanding. They really didn't know what they were doing with this Coliseum. It's like they wanted to make it tedious and annoying rather than fun. Um, they really didn't know what they were doing with the Coliseum, Phil. Are you sure about that? Because they seemed to know everything about the other game because it was such a good game. In your words, it was a great game. But they messed up with the Coliseum. I think the Coliseum, the Roman gladiators, if you will, the greatest warriors in the world are at the Coliseum fighting it out. So wouldn't you have to be the greatest warrior in the world to beat the warriors in the Coliseum? I'm just making shit up in my head, you know what I'm saying? But, dude, come on. Come on, that's a cop-out. Anyways. To the night stream. Here we go again because I was expecting that tonight's Like a Dragon Gaiden stream was going to be a relaxing stream with a lot of interaction with the audience and it was going to be the polar opposite of last night where I got so frustrated at playing Street Fighter. Now, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of interaction with the audience. There was a good conversation. There was actually good engagement and support. But... Tonight, my goal was to complete the Coliseum missions and take out the four kings who are this optional boss series of fights. That's the final major side mission of the game. After you're done with that, there's literally nothing major left in the game but the story. And maybe, like, there's one other side mission to trade in some earrings or something. So we're, like, at the very end of the game. Like, I want to finish this Coliseum stuff. And tonight started off good. Basically, what we did, we grinded a few times and got our guys leveled up and then started doing the first uh, mission. It was a one-on-one -on -one fight with one of the four kings. And I beat him pretty easily. It wasn't challenging. I was like, oh, good. 
So then we go to the next one. The next one's a two-team battle, where it's three of the four kings and a bunch of minions. We go to do it, so we kill all the minions, but my team literally can't put a dent into the four kings' characters. Like, their health is just not going down, and I'm like, I'm doing something wrong? Like, I don't get it. And I realized, you know, maybe what they're actually expecting you to do is to finish up with the actual regular team battles. They call them Hell Team Rumbles at the Platinum level. Beat all those first. Level all your guys up to maximum level, which is level 20 in this game is the maximum level for your teammates in the Coliseum. So maybe that's what they want you to do. Then go back and finish the Four Kings fights. And I'm like, you know, I'm not opposed to that. If I do those fights in the Coliseum, you earn a ton of currency. You can use that to level your character up and keep going. So you get benefit. It's not like, oh, you're wasting your time. You're going to get achievement points. You're going to actually uh, get cure you completely powered up with damage and HP. <clears throat> so that's exactly what we did. And I got through all of the platinum fights, all nine of them. There's ten total. I went one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Pretty much no problem. And we did have to grind on like stage four a bit to get the guys up. We had like out of the, the ten guys on your team, like seven of them are like level twenty now. So they're maxed. You can't get them any higher. They can't possibly be any stronger. And most of these guys are gold. I have a couple silvers and like one bronze, but most of the guys on the team are gold level. They're kicking ass, they're doing real good, right? So I'm like, okay, let's do the final fight for platinum. And let's see how it goes. The final fight for platinum, you have to fight five mini boss characters and a bunch of minions on a rooftop. It's actually the rooftop from Yakuza. It's actually the rooftop from Yakuza 4 from the final boss fight. I thought that was really neat that they brought that back. Kind of an Easter egg for longtime Yakuza fans like me. We go to do it, and I get down to the very end. Like, no exaggeration. One guy left, couldn't do it, ran out of time. I was like, oh, let's try it again. Same exact thing. Get down to the very end, almost ready. I was like, all right, so here's what we got to do we got to level up the guys who are on my team all to level 20. Let's get them all maxed. When everyone's maxed, now, we should be able to steamroll through this final fight. So that's what we did. We grinded on one of the stages and basically got everyone up to, like, level... I think there's, like, three characters who aren't level 20, but almost everyone on the team is level 20. So now I go back to do the fight. The fight's harder. I was like, wait, what? Oh, no. Don't tell me this is one of those fucking games where they artificially scale the difficulty. Because you leveled up, they made the fight harder. Now, here's the thing. All night, I'm leveling up Kiryu. I maximized his damage output. He can't possibly deal any more damage in the game. I leveled his health up by, like, 50%. So now, like, basically, there's no excuse here. Here you is, is just a killing machine, right? I'm activating the fight. I'm going into it with full heat, activating, doing combos, windmills on everyone, taking out multiple enemies, right? Throwing my gadgets, pulling the enemies towards it, getting more heat. And I get to the end of the fight, we still can't win. I grinded that final fight for over a half an hour tonight. It's just, it won't let you win. No matter what, there's always something that happens. Okay, I'm in, on a roll. Oh, a guy stuck up behind you you couldn't see from off camera. I hit you with a chainsaw. All your heat's gone. Can't do your heat combo. Or... For some reason, mysteriously, the AI teammates don't want to do any damage this time. So they just stand there like Dunce is not attacking. You can't kill everyone yourself. You lose. And I'm thinking to myself, how is it that the first two runs that I tried on this final stage were... I was this close to winning. Like, the final enemy only had, like, one health bar left. But we ran out of time. Now, I'm going into it. All my teammates have leveled up to level 20. I'm doing more damage. But it's harder. So either... One of two things. Either... Your teammates, as they level up, get worse. And what I mean by that is, even though they may have more health, they just stand around. Their AI actually gets dumber as they get higher level, and they don't attack as much, meaning you have to do all the work yourself, or the game actually scales. So there are optional bosses. You don't even need to beat them to beat the game. Why are you complaining? He's complaining about the schedule thing, too. I don't understand what the schedule thing is. The monkey mentioned the schedule thing is. His schedule that he made for himself, which he can change at any time. Why? Why? Why put those restrictions on yourself, DSP? DSP is a fucking law cow, bro. He should have been a part of that thing. And then that chill stream thing that he was talking about, there was like nobody donating or something like that. He was getting mad at. On top of that, Phil was also mad about like, he got $250 just in tips in the day, right? In the day. That's insane. Okay. Right. He's complaining that he didn't get enough, enough support. Bro was lost in the sauce. What a fucking law cop. Bro, if I saw DSP IRL, I'd probably beat his ass. No cap. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm out of here. <laughs>